welcome back to my channel. I have a video for you guys that I don't think I've talked about in quite some time and I did a poll on Instagram and I asked you all if you wanted to see what I have put on my kids summer chore charts and so many of you guys said yes. Now I say summer chore charts but really this is something that you could do all year round and it is something I'm hoping to continue on even when it's not summer but especially in the summer both girls have a lot more free time on their hands which is a good thing but it can also be a time where maybe they're playing too many video games, maybe they're not getting enough exercise, maybe they're not helping out enough around the house. So these lists I did make to start using in the summertime, but I really do hope to continue on with them during the school year. And especially I think the way I've got it broken up, I think it's definitely doable to keep this up even when they are doing schoolwork. And something else I will say, we did start these lists actually a few weeks ago, even though my oldest isn't technically on summer break yet. By the time you see this, she probably is, but when we started it, she wasn't. My youngest finished her homeschool year a few weeks earlier than her older sister, um, which is the first year that first time that's ever happened where one kid was done with school before the other one. But I think that's just what happens when you have kids that are like, one's in elementary school and one is in high school doing college classes already. So that's kind of the way that it, it worked out. So we have already started these lists and one one benefit i have found of them already i've noticed when sometimes i don't have time to sit there and think about what i need done that they can do it's really nice when they say well, what am i supposed to be doing here's your list you know go pick something off of your list even though there may be other things they could do or i might ask them to do later these things on the list are givens that need to be done you know any day any given day any given week any given month and that this chart has already really helped with that because sometimes i'm busy i'm in the middle of something i don't have time to sit there and think okay what what do you need to do what, what needs to be done with that in mind i have two lists for each girl and i went ahead and typed mine up on a computer on the computer and so i right now i have them in a page protector because i wanted the girls to be able to mark it off with a dry erase marker um, and I will laminate them probably at some point, but I'm still kind of tweaking and making adjustments. And so while I'm doing that, I don't really want to laminate it and take the time to like do it and waste laminating pouches. So for now, they're just in paid protectors, although that is still perfectly fine. They normally hang them on their refrigerator on the side and that way they both know where they are and they're easily accessible. So two lists, each girl's list is pretty different. They have different daily tasks, different weekly tasks and different monthly tasks. I'll go ahead and show you kind of a blank version and I have a, uh, a printable of this if you guys want to print out this version it is right in the chores on your own this is exactly the same way my girls lists are set up it's just I typed in what I wanted them to do you can obviously write it in here and that way you can do the same chart if you're interested so in each category we have daily tasks weekly tasks and monthly tasks and there's 10 in each category now obviously you may have more or less than that but at least that gives you, I think, quite a few spaces to write in different jobs. And so with the daily tasks, there are seven check boxes. With the weekly tasks, there are four because four weeks at a month. And then with the monthly, there are 12 boxes. And that's why I went ahead and put it in a page protector because if you're having things up here that they're completing daily and weekly, then you get down here, they're gonna have stuff that, you know, they didn't finish because there's more than seven months in a year. Does that make sense? So that's one reason why if you're gonna use this chart in this format, I would obviously recommend either laminating it or putting it in a page protector so that when they're done with their days and their weekly charts, so like once a month is over, you can just wipe off this stuff and keep on doing these things and you'll still have the running list down here. If that makes any sense at all, I hope it does. So anyway, just know when I'm looking at my girls list, they look exactly like this. If you're interested in this printable, I will put a link for you in the description box. It's not anything fancy, but it just may save you a little bit of time if you want to try out this method for yourselves. Okay, so starting with my youngest daughter's list, her daily tasks are to make her bed, do her schoolwork. And so even though, like I said, they're on summer break, she does have some things that she's doing for her schoolwork for the summer just to make sure she's keeping up with concepts and keeping her brain sharp. So schoolwork get outside so do something outside i don't care what it is just go outside get some fresh air get some sunshine get a little bit of exercise i also have workout on there and i have that listed as something separate because really both girls are beyond the point where they go outside and do anything active enough to like get enough exercise um you know we have a fairly small yard and we live on kind of a busy street so i don't ever let them go out front to ride their bikes so really there's not a whole lot they can do outside that is very active so i have working out as a separate thing and she does all her workouts in here in the house 
with YouTube channels that I pick out for her. I talked about this in a couple other vlogs, but I said what I do is I make a playlist on my account that's private that has all workouts for her that I have approved. Various different lengths of workouts, different types of workouts, but things that I have pre-screened for her to make sure that they're at an appropriate level. Um, you know, it's not a bunch of like strength training things or things that are too strenuous. You know, it's something that is a good workout for her age. And I have all those in a playlist. So when I say workout and she goes to do her list, I don't care which one of those workouts she does, but she already has a list that she knows they're approved by me and she can do any one of those for her workout. So that's on her list. Also what we call doggy duty, where she is going outside and cleaning up after our dog Loki every day. If you do it every day, it literally takes no more than four, four or five minutes and it's keeping the yard clean. So when anybody goes out there, they're not stepping in stuff, which was a bad habit that we had before. I'll be honest, it was not something that we ever really kept up with, but I bought her a pooper scooper on Amazon and I have a special bucket. And so she goes out there and once a day just picks them up, gets them out of the way and it's keeping the yard a lot cleaner. Also while she's out there and I kind of grouped chores together, so all the outside things are together, refill the bird feeders, sweep off the back porch. So those are all things that she can do outside. And then the last thing is to make sure that she cleans Bean's hay off of her bedroom floor and the office floor, which are the two places that Bean is the most. Her hay is everywhere. It's just, it's a mess. It's one of the worst things about having a guinea pig is the hay situation. Um, and that's again, another thing that we have been bad at. She's been bad at doing, and I've been bad at reminding her to do. So I put it on her list so that maybe we'll have a little bit less hay in the floor. And then down at the bottom, I just have a standard little thing that says laundry and any other help as needed. So that doesn't mean this is all she's doing. And once she does this stuff, she has nothing else to do all day. You know, I may ask them to fold a load of laundry or put away clothes or, you know, wipe down the countertop, something like that. But these things are kind of set in stone, need to be done every single day. So those are her daily chores. Her weekly jobs are to clean out Bean's cages. She has two. In the laundry room, she needs to wipe out the washer inside and out, wipe off the top of the dryer because it's always covered in lint, and then vacuum the laundry room. And I had her do that because number one, it's a fairly simple job. It also is something that I don't always get to do every single week. I don't get to it but it bothers me because the dust in the laundry room builds up so quickly because of all the lint. So it's something that I want to be done, but I don't necessarily have the time to do it. It's on her list. And then taking off her sheets is actually coordinating with one of her sister's weekly chores, which is to be in charge of their sheets. So her list says take off your sheets and coordinate with my oldest on which day she's going to wash them. So, you know, don't just take your sheets off willy nilly, you know, ask your sister, when are you going to wash sheets this week? They'll take them off on the same day. Dusting the landing, the hall cabinet, and the little pony wall going down the stairs. That's another thing that I'm bad at doing on a regular basis, so I put it on her list. And vacuuming the stairs and the landing. Again, I have those two things grouped together because you're in that area anyway. You might as well go ahead and do them at the same time. Clean your bathroom. That's a job that she shares with her sister. Brush Loki. Clean off the patio table. Wipe out the silverware drawer. Wash Loki's bowl and stand. And then get stuff out of the van and put away. So those are her weekly chores. On a monthly basis, she is supposed to Clorox wipe all the light switches, remotes, phones, knobs, and handrails. That doesn't mean we're only doing it once a month, but that at least is at least once a month is going to get done over and above the amount of times that I do it. Lint roll all the lampshades, which is how we kind of get the dust off of lampshades. Uh, wash all the doors around the doorknobs. That is something where we all kind of just do this to open a door and we don't use the knob all the time. And sometimes you get fingerprints. So that's a monthly job. Also clean the glass on the doors on the back door and the office doors inside and out. Sweep the front porch and wipe off the outside of the front door and then vacuuming all the air vents with a fluffy brush. So, you know, the air intakes, how they get kind of dusty. That's not something you need to do necessarily every week, but every month should be able to should keep them from getting too dusty. So that is her list. My oldest daughter's daily chores, make the bed, wipe the mirror, vanity and sink in their bathroom unload and reload the dishwasher and then she has reading her civics book over the summer and also get outside. I don't put workout on her list because she pretty much does that on her own. It's not it's not quite a habit with my youngest yet but my oldest is like she's already got her own workout routine that she does and she follows and so I didn't put that on her list but she is getting exercise every day as well and then her list also says laundry and other help as needed. For her weekly chores she's supposed to clean out Tango's cage which is her bird 
change and wash her and her sister, her sister's sheets. So like I said, that's something they'll have to coordinate together when they're going to do that. Vacuum hers and her sister's bedroom, gather up all the upstairs trash and throw it away and then bring down any hangers upstairs and then iron. So again, I have three of her things grouped together. So gathering all the upstairs trash and the hangers, those are both things that you're doing up here and then you're taking them downstairs. And so once she brings the, the hangers downstairs, then she can iron once a week and then she'll have hangers. So that's kind of why I put them together like that. Clean their bathroom, which is again a job she shares with her sister. Get stuff out of the van and put up, put up the trash in the car. That's Her sister has the same job. And then clean the half bathroom, which is our downstairs guest bathroom. So that's her weekly jobs. And then for monthly, she is dusting all of the light fixtures and fans, dusting all the blinds, dusting all the ceiling corners, wiping all the cabinet fronts in the kitchen with a damp rag, wiping the inside of the microwave, wiping out the Lazy Susan, and wiping out the fridge shelf. So I have, have all of her jobs kind of grouped together as, as well. So all the kitchen jobs are together. She doesn't have to do them at the same time, but because you're doing it on a fairly frequent basis, it shouldn't be that built up and you're already in that room anyway doing something else. So you might as well go ahead and get them all done at once. So that's how it makes sense in my mind, but you know, they can do it however they please. As long as they're doing those certain things, either daily, weekly, or monthly, I don't really care how they get it done. So those are the chore charts that I made for them to start out this summer. I had already made a few changes from the original ones, which is why I said, you know, either put it in a page protector or maybe if you're going to do the printable, just, you know, print out a couple. Um, and that way you can kind of play around with it and see what's going to work, what needs to be changed. And you'll figure that out as time goes on, but that's what we plan to do. That's our chore charts for now. That is what we're going to start in the summer. We've already started actually. And I really do hope that we can kind of keep it going and carry it on through, through the school year. And it's, it's a big help to me because I have so many other things that I'm taking care of. I do most of the major cleaning and deep cleaning. I do all the YouTube stuff. I do all the homeschool stuff. I do all the book work for the family and you know, the grocery shopping and the meal planning and the cooking and all that stuff and the, most of the laundry. So like these things really help me out. If you guys want that printable, I will put the link for you in the description box. I hope it helps you guys out. But whether you use my printable or not, I highly encourage you to set up some type of system for your kids, some type of chores they need to be in charge of on a daily, weekly, monthly basis because it's good for them to have chores and teach them responsibility and being a team player, but it's also good for you because you can't and shouldn't be expected to do everything around your house on your own. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys have your kids do for chores? Do you have them do a lot of chores? Do they have a lot of animals to take care of? What are some chores you have your kids do around the house on a regular basis? Leave that for me in the comments. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.